Hello friends, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKID Support and this time we will see um, how to create a PowerShell script to check the installed software on the machines. Okay, so for that what I have done is I have uh, opened the PowerShell ISE. Okay, and uh, I've already written the script, but I will just want to let you know step by step what is required uh, and uh, how you are going to build this particular script. Okay, so for that you need to open the ISE with administrative privilege and uh, you need to have a server on which you can um, run PowerShell with proper privileges so that you can connect to a different machines as well okay the first thing what you need to do is um, what I have done is I have created uh, I've created a file okay which is located in C10 okay and that file name is server.txt okay so I have filled the server details there so now you can see it says a uh, local host and n1 n1 is another server and local host in um, this server okay so you can uh, add on multiple servers so for example I am just putting two servers so that you can understand how to build the script and rest of the things will be uh, same you just need to add the files and the servers in this particular file okay so let me um, open that file and show you so this is the location C temp and if you double click this is a text txt file and if you want to add new file you just need to add like n2 n3 and like that okay so as of now we only have two servers so I have inserted it into this particular um, uh, script okay so what next okay so this is the script which I have created okay so I will navigate and let you know how uh, I'm uh, this uh, this is constructed okay so the first thing is we need to create a variable okay here I have created a variable called servers and what it is doing is it is trying to fetch the information with get content and getting it and it is storing in this particular variable so if you write like dollar server and if you hit enter it is going to list the same thing which is this command okay get content okay so what next we need to do so let me talk about the base command first okay the base command is to get the okay so the base command is to get the information about the softwares so we need to use get wmi object then we need to define a parameter called class and in the class we need to select win32 underscore product after that we need to mention in which computer we need to write and run this particular command okay so if you go back here and see um, here we have win32 product and computer name in this we I have put as localhost okay and then after that we have to give a pipe and then we need to give select okay either you use select or you can use select object so both are the same thing okay select is the short form of select object you can write it like that select hyphen object then uh, you need to uh, you probably um, uh, probably asking that from where I'm getting these informations okay so what you need to do is you need to just copy this okay okay so what I need to do is I need to write up like get WMI object okay then we need to define a class okay so we have defined a class like um, you can type it like win 32 okay underscore product okay so this is a class and let's say uh, we are running into the multiple computers okay? and uh, I'm putting it as local host okay? now you will say that from where I'm getting these information so if you write get member or GM the GM is the short form of get member so if you write uh, get member you can see this is the option get member and if you hit enter it is going to list uh, the options which we have here okay so so you can see from like uh, dash dash server I have picked, picked it from here and if you go to uh, there will be a name parameter as well you can see the name parameter which is a package cache okay uh, uh, the package name so like this we have version you can see from here so these are the classes which you can put in your file and the output okay it is going to list all the things so this is how you will understand okay uh, these are the parameters which you need from uh, this particular command okay 
So right now I only require the server name which is going to populate here and I need the name of the product, I need the version, okay. And uh, later we can also put a parameter which is error action silently continue. So this happens when in case you have multiple servers and if there is any server which is not reachable in that case there can be a possibility that your command is failing okay and due to some failure I don't want my command to stop when I'm running it into the multiple servers okay so if we write up this so it is going to uh, continue and uh, it doesn't really bother about uh, the errors which are going to happen okay so let's say if I run this and it is going to uh, get the information for this particular local host and it will populate here okay now you can see the output look like this we have the server name which says like srvdc1 and the name of the product which are installed and the version of the product okay so this is how we have constructed it but we need to construct the script so that it can run in multiple servers okay so for that what we have done is uh, we have created a variable from where it can pick the server names okay after that we need to run the same command for each server so for that we will use for each loop okay so then I have put a dollar server in servers so that means the first entry into this particular server dollar servers uh, content okay that means it is going to pick the first entry and use it in the group into this particular command okay just to understand that which uh, which server it is going to run uh, uh, this command is running so I have written a small code here like write host processing server and it will also give the name of the server on which this command is going to hit so that I can see the what is what is the progress of this particular whole command okay so again it is going to uh, write up the same command like the get WMI object then the class and then we put like win32 product and then the computer name in the computer name section here again I will put this dollar server so that this is the first entry from the ser dollar servers uh, uh, get content okay so then we will uh, pipe it out and select the server and um, this is the server name then the software name and the version and I have told you about this error action as well so we can uh, close this curly bracket here and this for each it is going to run in a loop so let me show you how it looks okay so if I run this command now you can see it is showing that processing server localhost after that once it is complete from here it will populate the output and then it will move to a next server so we'll see right in front of our eyes so now you can see it is running in the server n1 which is the second entry of this particular sheet which we have in the server.txt okay so after running this you can see it is also processing n1 and it gives the result that what are the software is installed so this is how this particular command is constructed the script is constructed okay so now you will say okay this is uh, throwing out the information in the uh, screen so I need to get it in the file okay so for that we need to change a little bit so for that what you need to do is uh, what I prefer is I love to create another variable here as results okay and that equals to if we uh, just come down here and make it as for each okay the whole uh, this event is going to record and store in this particular variable okay and then what we can do is I will do results okay and uh, I will pipe it out and do a export to a CSV okay and then we can also give path and uh, give the file name as temp then let's say this is a software okay software dot CSV so if we um, hit this and now what will happen is if you go to this particular directory the same command is going to run okay the same script is going to run and it is going to create another file here we have given the path as temp.software.csv so once this script is complete there will be another file here so let's see so I will wipe it out here and I will hit this command and this time you can see we can see the processing server here but we don't see uh, we are not going to see the result here result is going to dump in this particular file okay 
if I go here and still I cannot see any file here so all the things are going in the memory so once it is done it is going to dump it right here and we will see it okay so let it complete and I will show you up how it looks so now you can see here uh, we don't see anything in the, this particular screen but the file is created here and it is dumped in CSV so if I double click here and I can open it in notepad and you can see it is giving the information in CSV okay so what I can do is I will copy this okay and I will copy it into my system and I will save it as CSV so that I can see how it looks okay so I've opened the notepad I am copying this here and I will save it as a CSV okay so I will go to my computer I will go to O and I will type it as scripts okay and this is software okay and I will save it as all files and save okay so what I can do is I can navigate to that particular location and if I open this file so now you can see it is giving you a proper thing a proper segregation this is the server names and this is the software name and its versions so now you know how you can pull the information from multiple servers it's not the number of one or two servers if you have more than 100 servers 200 servers you can put into the single sheet and run this particular script it is going to pull each and every software and the product which is installed in your system and this is very handy to really hand over and gather information in your inventory okay so I hope this particular video is informative and if you have any questions just write out in the comment sections I will be happy to answer them and this is Joy Banerjee signing off from AIGATI support and do subscribe my channel if you like it and hit the like button.